What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling better than I am because I'm still not feeling 100%. Still a little bit sick, still not training at the moment. Um, so I'm a bit gutted about that, but I'm very excited for what I'm about to share with you today because if you're anything like me, uh, you don't like tracking things. Uh, I certainly don't like tracking things anyway. So when I started working with a coach and I needed to sort of like track my calories and macros, there was an intense amount of friction there. I just really didn't want to do it. So I've come up with my own system, which I call the lazy man's guide to tracking calories and macros, okay? Because I don't like doing it, but I'm still doing it. Even, even I'm sick right now, I'm still tracking, I'm still using this system. I'm still tracking my calories and macros. So this is the lazy man's guide to tracking calories and macros. Let's get into it. So, what do I do? Well, I'll just take you through a typical day because there's some things I track and some things I don't track, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I wake up, have a shower, clean my teeth, weigh myself first thing in the morning before drinking anything, that's super important. So I am tracking my weight. I know that's not related, but I'm just throwing it in here. Track your weight every single morning, guys. It's very, very important. Track my weight, go downstairs, drink some water. Uh, I'm not tracking water, okay? I know some of you track water. To be honest, I don't need to track water. I just drink when I'm thirsty. I don't have a target that I need to aim for every single day. I'm just, I'm in tune with my body enough to know am I hydrated or not. Uh, so I'm mainly drinking water from glass, stored in a glass bottle. I actually only drink sparkling water and coconut water, but that's for a whole separate other video. Don't be drinking tap water, guys. Tap water is for simps. Do not be drinking tap water. I don't care which country you live in. It is not good. It's gross, actually. It's very bad for your health. So anyway, uh, water, I'm not tracking, but I wake up, I drink some water, I take some supplements, which I'll do another video on in future. Um, and then first thing is coffees, okay? So I have two coffees every morning. Cinnamon Dolce Latte it is sick such a sick coffee okay but i don't actually track this even though there are calories in there i don't know how many calories are in there because i order it from somewhere else uh, i don't know the exact calorie content <coughs> excuse me but because i i drink them every single morning two coffees every single morning it's a non-negotiable i gotta have my two coffees okay i mean i could not have them but i just life's better with coffee you know what i mean and uh day is going to be better with coffee as well so i have my two coffees I'm not tracking it, but because I have the coffees every single day, it's less important for me. Uh, when I'm traveling, that's when things get a little bit more tricky because I can't have my coffee and, and I'm not eating my normal foods, but the coffees, I'm not tracking, okay? So then my first meal, uh, I just have some bone broth uh, and some eggs. And the bone broth, actually, I don't know the exact calorie content for the bone broth, okay? Because I order that as well. It's bone broth mixed with bone marrow but i just asked the lady uh, how much bone marrow is in this bone broth and she's like oh it's like nine grams per cube or something like that and i have three cubes every day so i could easily work out uh, i know the bone marrow that's the high fat content i know that's where the majority of the calories are okay so rather than trying to record the whole thing i'm just recording the high calorie dense foods so the bone marrow, I just logged that down as like 27 grams or whatever of bone marrow, okay? There's a, actually a little bit more, but uh, the bone broth itself, pretty low calorie because it's just mainly water, okay? So I just record the bone marrow because that's like the most calorie dense part. I have some eggs, obviously I record them because it's just five medium eggs, that's nice and simple. Uh, and then going on to lunch, okay? Now my lunch is very similar every single day. I might change one or two ingredients, but I made another video about this, which I will link somewhere up above, about how I eat uh, for maximum productivity and gains and stuff like that. But uh, my lunch is very similar every single day. So I can just copy what I recorded yesterday, but maybe change the amounts. Sometimes I have chicken and vegetables, sometimes I have beef and vegetables. It's very similar every single day. And if you can't eat the same thing every single day, I have some clients, <coughs> excuse me, they tell me they need a bit more variety and that's fine. What I would do in this situation is just have like five or 10 go-to breakfasts, 
five lunches, five dinners, okay? And work out the calories and macros for each one. So then when it comes to deciding, deciding what you want to eat, you, already, you only have a choice of five, so the decision's easier. And you already know the calories and macros for each one. So there's no guesswork, and there's, the work's already been done ahead of time. You already know what your calories and macros are, okay? So I eat the same thing for lunch, very, very similar for dinner as well. Uh, for dinner, I'm always having a steak, okay? So at the, in the morning, I just record the steak straight away. I know how, how much it's gonna weigh, so I just record my steak uh, earlier in the day for, for the evening, so I know how many calories I've got left, and I can fit, fit them in for the rest of the day if that makes sense uh, but also there's a lot of things that I'm still not tracking okay so vegetables most vegetables I'm not tracking pineapple I will uh, any fruits that are high sugar I'll track watermelon not so much sometimes I will but I'm not super strict with it uh, obviously things like potato white rice uh, chicken anything that's calorie dense I'm gonna be tracking but things like tomatoes cucumbers beetroot uh, carrots even carrots I'm not tracking uh, yeah there's many things that I'm not tracking but <coughs> excuse me I'm trying to track the main things the calorie dense things and if it's not perfect well no worries but if I do the same thing every single day if I don't track my coffees every single day then it's just it, it would only be a problem if some days I was tracking the coffees and some days I'm not okay so you whatever system that you go with just be consistent with that system. And as long as the system kind of makes sense, it should still work for you because we're all different. There is no perfect calorie target or perfect macro target out there that we can all follow. It's different for every single person. And the only way you know what way you should be eating at is by eating a certain way and monitoring your progress, monitoring your body weight, monitoring your changes in the mirror, uh, monitoring how you feel, uh, and the results that you get from that, and then you make adjustments based on that. So, say I'm not I'm not tracking the coffees, I'm not tracking the vegetables. If I continue to do that, then that's not a problem at all. So, this is uh, the lazy man's guide to tracking calories and macros. Okay, you don't need to check, sorry, check track. You don't need to track ev everything. Just track all the main things, the calorie dense things. Watch out for things like oil on salads. Oil is extremely calorie dense. Make sure you're not forgetting about that. But if it's just some vegetables, it's literally just some vegetables on their own, or it's just a salad, like a garden salad with no nuts or anything like that. Anything that's low calorie, just it's not even worth the effort to type it in there just for a few extra, uh, a few extra calories, you know? So this is what I do because um, another reason actually is, you know, if you care about productivity and, you know, you've got to get shit done, which most of us, we have busy lives. We have lives outside of fuck, tracking calories and macros and stuff like that, right? We don't want to be spending so much time or even just mental energy thinking about, you know, oh, I've got to record these exact things or what did I have? Did I record this or did I record that? You just want to get the main things done. Focus on the main things. It's the uh, Pareto principle, all right? 80-20. Get the main shit down there. All the cal calorie dense foods. And if you do that, then you should be good to go, guys. Uh, we're not chasing perfection, okay? Just get the main things down and you should be good to go, okay? So that is the lazy man's guide to tracking calories and macros. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon.